بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب ذرنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the solutions of P3 variant 3.2 of June 2020. And for this, I am using the work of an outstanding and one of my best students, Ms. Laiba Gulzar of class 2021, the Lyceum. All these instructions are very important, especially this last one. Give non-exact numerical answers correct to three significant figures or one decimal place for angles and degrees unless a different level of accuracy is specified in the question. Must follow all these instructions. An important advice for me and for everyone, we should be well-mannered. Two important tips to solve the paper in a good way. Number one, avoid careless mistakes. Number two, read questions carefully. Question number one, Find the quotient and remainder when this polynomial is divided by this divisor. You all know we do this question through long division method. This is the best method. You can also use the synthetic division if you know that method. According to long division method, we first divide this term by this term to get this term. Like 6x power 4 divided by 2x square will give you 3x square this term after getting this term we multiply this term with this divisor and then we change the signs of all these terms and then we get this result and so on this is the quotient whereas this is the remainder and we had to find these two things Question number two of linear law question. We have ln y here and x here. This is capital Y, whereas this is capital X. And this equation is also given. Number one, bring this equation into standard linear law equation. This is the standard linear law equation. First, bring this equation into this form. And for that, you need to take ln on both sides because we have ln here. When we will take ln on both sides onto this equation, we'll get this equation. We use product law here. You all know ln e is 1. Finally, we have got this linear law. This is of this form, mx plus c. This half k is the gradient of this equation whereas this half ln a is the ln y intercept now get the gradient of this line with the help of these two points so this is the gradient of this line now compare this gradient with this gradient to get the value of k hence k is 0 0.80 make sure you give your answer up to two decimal places must follow these instructions now you have to find the equation of linear law with the help of this information and this gradient this is the linear law equation and y is ln y and x is small x so we have this equation finally this is of this form now you need to compare this equation with this equation to get the value of a now this is the ln y intercept and this is also the ln y intercept by comparing these two we can get the value of a here we did this half ln a is equal to 0.6 you all know we remove ln with the help of index form. This is the way to remove ln. The base of ln is e, therefore y is equal to e power x. Hence a is 3.32. Give your answer up to two decimal places. If you want to take the screenshot of this solution, you can.
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस इज ऑफ बाई पार्ट इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज यू एल एन एक्स वेर एज दिस एक्स पावर थ्री अपॉन टू एंड डी एक्स इज डी वी दिस इज यू एंड दिस इज डी वी वी ऑलवेज डिफ्रेंशिएट यू टू गेट डी यू वेर एज वी ऑलवेज इंटीग्रेट डी वी टू गेट वी दिस इज दॉर्मूला ऑफ बाई पार्ट मेक श्योर यू सब्सटीट्यूट एवरीथिंग केयरफुली now this x power 5 upon 2 and x will become x power 3 upon 2 when you will simplify these two x you will get this thing and when you will integrate x power 3 upon 2 you will get this thing 5 upon 2 and 5 upon 2 in denominator which will become 2 upon 5 after the simplification this is the simplified form you just need to apply limits make sure you give your answer in exact form because we need exact value of this integral question number 4 a curve has equation y is equal to cos x sin 2x find the x coordinate of the stationary point in this interval giving your answer correct to three significant figures now this is of uv rule which is vu prime uv prime you can read this as well, in this way as well uv prime vu prime both are fine because we have plus sign this is when use this form vu prime uv prime this is perfectly fine so according to this rule copy v and differentiate u the differential of cos is negative sin x now copy u and differentiate v the differential of sin 2x is 2 cos 2x since the point is stationary so we need to equate dy upon dx to 0 as this is the domain so cos x 0 will be invalid because when cos is 0 there are two answers pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 and both of the answers are outside this domain so we need to ignore this result because of this domain here we have to take positive sign we have to neg uh, ignore or neglect the negative sign because we need to work only in first quadrant so when sign is in first quadrant the answer is 0.615 radians make sure you work according to given domain and give your answer up to three significant figures question number 5a we have to express this equation into this form since we have cos function here therefore the coefficient of cos in this equation will be a so a is root 2 therefore b is root 5 and we all know the formula of r it is a square plus b square under root so by substituting the values of a square and b square into this formula we can get the exact value of r make sure you give the exact value of r this is the exact value of r under root 7 alpha is very simple it is tan inverse b upon a so b is under root 5 where is a is under root 2 therefore alpha is 57.688 make sure you give alpha up to three decimal places according to this requirement and must express your equation into this form must substitute r here and alpha here don't leave your answer here always substitute the value of r here and alpha here well if you will compare these two equations see we have x here and we have 2 theta here this means x is replaced by 2 theta so you need to replace this x by 2 theta this is very important by replacing x by 2 theta into this equation we have this equation under root 7 cos 2 theta and this is alpha 57.688 we have to uh, change this domain we have to make this domain as this angle always convert this domain the given domain according to this angle 
so first you need to multiply this domain by 2 because we have 2 theta here to get 2 theta and then you have to bring 57.6 double 8 into this domain into resultant domain of 2 theta so this is the new domain and according to this domain you have to work in all four quadrants and your cost is positive so it must be in first quadrant and fourth quadrant the basic angle is 67.79 therefore this is the first answer 67.79 and this is the second answer 360 minus 67.79 will give you 292.21 now you need to work for theta for that you need to bring 57.6 double eight on left hand side right hand side i'm sorry and then you need to divide your answers by two these are two final answers and make sure you give your answer up to one decimal please The most important thing is this 2 theta. Replace x by 2 theta. And the second important thing is domain. Always change the domain according to given angle. Two things are very important. This 2 theta and this domain. You must be good at with these two things especially for this question and make sure you will give your answer up to one decimal place because when answers are in degrees then we always give answers up to one decimal place provided when answers are non-exact question number six this is the equation of the curve for this domain and this is the maximum point we need the x coordinate of m and for that we need to differentiate this with respect to x and this is u upon v rule this is u and this is v and if that rule is v up prime v minus u prime v u prime minus u v prime over v square this is the rule u upon v v u prime minus u v prime over v square so this is v this is u prime this is u and this is v prime never expand the denominator leave the denominator as it is now equate this to zero because of turning point and then multiply this uh, with zero since x is positive so you need to take the positive answer and make sure you give your answer up to three decimal places the next part of this question use the substitution find by integration the exact area this is the formula of area lower limit a upper limit b y dx and y is this and limits are 0 and 1 according to this diagram 0 1 this is the function so area of this curve is this now we have to solve this according to this substitution and for that we need to first differentiate u to get dx because we need to substitute dx, x, x, and we need to change the limits. Now, this is dx, this is u. We have to change the limits as well. So when x is 1, u is root 3. When x is 0, u is 0. Now, see, we substituted dx here. We didn't change this and didn't change the limits here which change the limits here you could uh, change the limits here as well so 0 and 1 the corresponding value of 1 is root 3 you need to cancel these two x now in denominator we, one, we have 1 plus 3 x power 4 now 3 x power 4 is u square according to this equation when you will square on both sides on this equation you'll get this thing so you need to replace 3 x power 4 by u square now this is the substitution form of this integral. Now you need to observe this function very carefully. This is of 10 inverse because of this plus sign. So you can integrate this function in this way and you have to integrate this in the form of tan inverse. So we write reciprocal of this here the reciprocal of 1 is 1 upon 1 which is 1 tan inverse u upon 1 the fraction of these two and these are the limits 
make sure you uh, solve this carefully and your calculator must be in radial mode this is the final answer and the exact value of area give the exact value this is very important you must be good at the integration of tan inverse i mean integration of this function in the form of tan inverse next question number seven this is the differential equation first you need to do separable when you will do separable you'll get this thing you need to bring y minus one here and dx here this is the variable separable with integral signs now the integration of this is very simple ln y minus one you cannot integrate this directly you have to split this in partial fractions when you will split this in partial fraction you will get this thing and from denominator you are getting two factors x minus 1 x minus 3 by substituting these two values of x one by one you can easily get the values of b and a now this integral is here you all know how to integrate this function this is very simple you need to integrate this with the help of ln this as well so half ln x plus 1 minus ln x plus 3 plus c now you need to substitute x0 and y2 into this equation for the value of c now c is ln 3 make sure you simplify this carefully first use product law quotient law here to get this thing and then use product law here to get this thing this 3 will multiply with these two terms 3x plus 3 since we have ln on both sides so we need to equate their functions whenever we have single log on both sides with coefficient same coefficient that is one then we always equate their functions never cancel these two ln's never just equate these two functions this is the required value of y next question number eight solve this equation this is so simple you just need to replace w by x plus i y and w static by x minus i y w if w is x plus i y then w static must be x minus i y now you need to equate uh, real part with real part that is x minus 3 with 3 and 3 x plus y with 5 to get two equations now you need to solve these two equations simultaneously for the values of x and y this is y and this is x since w is this x plus i y therefore this is the value of w 2 minus i x is 2 and y is negative 1 therefore w is 2 minus i this question is very important on a sketch of an organ diagram, shade the region whose points represent complex numbers Z satisfying this inequality and this inequality. When you will take minus sign common from these two terms, you will get this inequality. And this is the standard equation of circle in complex numbers with center at 2 plus 2i and radius 1. And this is the argument, equation of argument and argument of these from 4i and the angle is minus pi by 4 greater than minus pi by 4 greater than minus pi by 4 means minus pi by 6 0 and so on these values are required this is the circle with center at 2 plus 2i and radius 1 and this is the modulus of center 2 root 2 now this is the line of argument this is the argument half line make sure you draw a half line don't extend the line here so this is the half line of this argument z from 4i this is 4i with angle minus pi by 4 
and according to this inequality you need to shade this side of the line and according to this inequality you need to shade inside the circle therefore this is the common region this is the required shading see this is 2 root 2 and this is 2 so this must be 2 therefore this should be 2 root 2 this triangle is isosceles if this is 2 root 2 this must be 2 root 2 find the least value of imaginary part of z or points in this region given your answer in exact form we need the least value of imaginary part of z imaginary means the vertical coordinate of complex number so when z is here then its distance is smallest this is the smallest distance you can say this one when z is here then its distance from origin is the smallest this is the requirement you need this thing and for that you need to take this triangle this one since this is 2 root 2 therefore this is and this is the radius therefore this total is 2 root 2 plus 1 and you need this length you need this thing first so this is 2 plus 2 root 2 So this distance is 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2. This distance is 2 plus root 2 upon 2. We need this distance, least value of imaginary part. So this total length is 4, therefore this must be 4 minus this. Here is the answer. Let me explain this again. C. We need the least value of imaginary part of C. So when Z is here, then this is the smallest distance of imaginary part of Z. To get this distance, we first need to take this triangle. This triangle. In this triangle, this angle is pi by 4, this length is 2, 2 root 2 and this is 1. So this total length must be 2 root 2 plus 1. Get this length with the help of cos. So this length is 2 plus root 2 upon 2. Now this total length is 4 and we need just this one. So this must be 4 minus this length here is the answer 2 minus root 2 upon 2 and this is the exact value you can take the screenshot of the solution if you want next question number 9 The diagram shows the curve y is equal to cos x and y is equal to k upon 1 plus x. This is cos x and this curve is here for this domain. And both the curve touch at the point where x is p. So at this point they have same gradient and their equations are equal. So first we need the gradient of this equation and this equation. So the gradient of this equation is here minus sine x and the gradient of this equation is here. Now we need to equate these two gradients at x is equal to p. 
this is here when you will solve this equation you'll get here I mean you'll get this equation and by substituting the value of k from this equation you can easily show this thing we substituted the value of k from this equation here first we equated their gradients at xp and then we uh, use this equation to substitute the value of k into this equation to get this answer second part is very simple it is of iteration must follow these instructions give the value of p up to three decimal places and show each iteration up to five decimal places you have to repeat the process unless you get a repeated number and make sure you use your calculator in radian mode and must get five decimal same values see both values are same at five decimal places you have to give your answer up to three significant figures three decimal places so 0.568 that's the final answer now hence find the value of k with the help of this value of p so you have two options you can either use this equation or this equation for the value of k you can use any one both are fine this is student use this equation she substituted the value of p here and here and she got k up to two decimal places next question number 10 with respect to the origin O, the points A and B have position vectors O A, O B. The midpoint of O A is M. This is the rough sketch. Therefore, O M is half of O A. And you can easily get O M. This is O M. The point N lying on A B between a and b is such that a n is 2 n b now with the help of this equation you can easily get o n this is the way this is the way to solve this equation o n minus o a o b minus o n this is o n now we need equation of line through m n n this is so simple first we need the direction vector m n this is the way to get mn you can call this as small q or p this is q the direction vector of line mn now you have option you can either use the point m or n for the equation of this line this is student use this point which is better this point is simple with respect to this always use simple point easy point so this is the required equation of the line mn next part the line through m and m meaning this line and the line through o and b intersect at p these two lines intersect at p so we need to form equation of this line first and then we will solve the equations of these two line for p this is the equation of line ob you can use any point for the equation and the direction is ob the direction of line OB is OP. You can call this small p is the direction of line OB. This is the rough sketch. OB. The direction is here. This is the equation of line OB and this is the equation of line MN. We need to equate these two, their R's to get the point of intersection the position vector of the point of intersection now we have three equations we can solve any two uh, we solve these two and we got the values of u and t now you can either substitute u, mu here or t here to get the position vector of the point p so this student uh, substituted u here and she got this point and this is the required answer give your answer in ijk form because the question was given in ijk form the last part of this question 
calculate angle OPM. This is so simple. You all know we have to use a uh, scalar product. And we read this in this way, PO dot PM. We always read it from center, from this point, middle point. PO dot PM. This is the scalar product with respect to this angle. So PM, PM is here. We have P, we have M, so we can easily get PM. We have PO, PO is here. This is OP and this is PO. Now by substituting uh, these values into this formula with their magnitudes, we can easily get the angle. Make sure you give your answer up to one decimal place. 21.6 degrees. Well, this is all an important advice for me and for everyone. We must avoid sins and we must be pious. Good luck to everyone. And I'm extremely thankful to Miss Laiba Guzar who helped me to make this lecture. May Allah Pak bless her always. Ameen. May Allah Pak give her the best grades. Ameen. Allah Hafiz.